back over here. Still a touch dark out. Today we're going to take you on a full day excursion on the trap line. Uh, we are starting, this is day one of week seven. So we've got our 69 coyotes so far. So we're already one week ahead of where we want to be. And uh, so by the end of week seven, we should be well into the 80s, uh, if not uh, mid 80s. So we're gonna keep on rolling. start the day and just see it coming up what's up Jack treacherous out here today we usually cross right here 50 times a year <laughs> not today I hit the wrong bump at the wrong time and got her high centered Jack how was that getting unstuck no fun hold still you got mud on your face even it took us 45 full minutes to get unstuck we decided to come check our trap we were done playing in the mud I see a foot in this coyote trap I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Made himself a home under there. Thought it was a young coyote, but looking at it, looks like it's a pretty good sized one. Let me get him uh, pulled up. There you go, buddy. We're going to pull this trap anyway. I'm tired of driving into it. Can I set it down? Yeah. Here you go. There he is. Quit trying to get me. That's a nice big coyote, guys. That's what we want. That will make 70. Get that back off. We got a remake done. Still the same old walkthrough type set. Um, I just kind of punched a trail through, try to stay out of the sun. Or out of the shadow out of the picture, there it is. Nice coyote. Well, we drove, you can probably see that dead cow in the background about 50 yards. Got us a snare in the fence with an old song dog. So I set this, this was one of the first snares I set, and it just seemed silly up until today, and that's usually how it works. I've seen coyote tracks coming through here, There's a, this fence line's brushed in pretty good, and then we've got the water. This was the only opening that they were using, and it takes six weeks, but we caught him. Um, like it or not, that's kind of how these snares sometimes work. So, see if I can get them cut out and we'll take a look. You see another good crossing spot? Yeah. Yeah, he lost a lot of fur here. And he peeled him. Yeah, I see that, buddy. Sometimes these can be a pain to get out. Sometimes they're pretty easy. Okay, so, check them out. Oh, another big, big coyote. Look at him. 
coming. Yep, he might have been in there for. What? Why you die? Like you are going on a trip to oh, Hawaii? Hawaii? <laughs> but I'm like, oh, why Yeah, need my wire, my support wire. It's actually coming out a good day. So far, so good, eh, Jack? Let's see if I can get a little bit better view of this. About like that. Don't underestimate the power of these snares. Boy, I'll tell you. Rain or shine. Yeah, no, don't drop him. Got That's a nice little way. hole to go through. Got a nice coyote. He left the, look, I think that's a tree root. Look at the other side. We've had nothing but a fiasco so far today. We've ran around, uh, we found that boat the other day, drug it up here for the neighbor. Found it in the river, floated downstream about a mile. Anyways, uh, we just had, we've caught two coyotes. We've done some checks. Uh, we had to reroute. The, we had a huge thaw and everything melted and the river's too high to cross. So we had to drive about five miles up river to a bridge and then drive five miles back down river to go back to checking. Um, we had sets right across the river that usually doesn't take us nothing to check. So we're a little behind there. We did have another coyote caught in a snare and he chewed out. So uh, that'd be the first of the year that we've lost. Out of 71 coyotes, we lost one, which would, would have been 72. But we always have to remember as adults, even though we're in a giant hurry today, it's all about these guys. This kid's down here, he's got a cottontail that lives underneath this rock jack, a rock crib. And he runs this trap line all the time and would like some sort of reward for running it. So he's gonna try to catch lunch. We'll see how he does the rest of the season with it. What do you think, Jack? About got it. About got it. He's all into snaring rabbits and such. Look at that. We're going to head up the road. Man, I miss the Wild North. Where's he been? Anybody heard anything from that guy? He's a lot of fun to watch. Quite a character. We're gonna have a dart and then we're heading that away. You have anything you wanna add to this snare? The sand? You don't even wanna say anything? All by his own. Looks like it's gonna catch a bunny. Let's get out of here. Let's keep moving, huh? Long ways to go. Chop, chop. There you go. Locking him in. Yep. He's gone. We've been running today. See a snare in the trail there. We've had a heck of a day of bad luck. But... This is not even good luck here because he tore it completely up. I don't know how we're going to reset this one. Yeah, that's how hard this ground is up here. Bent over the stake. Um, it's the third coyote in this set, so I hate to not reset it. I'll just have to go we'll get some, spend a few minutes to brush it in. 
We did catch another coyote right over the edge right there, kind of by the ranger and um, on a trail. Caught one there and he chewed out. So second chew out of the day, the second one of the season. We had a heck of a time. Well, that's another coyote there. Okay, we're gonna reset it. Well, we had one more coyote caught in a trap. He was tow caught and he pulled out before we got there, down to tow. And we're still checking snares. And look what, look what he's got here. This is the boy's snare. He's, he found this snare hole. Shot him. Uh, they must have just shot him with the rifle from a ways away. They must not have seen him. So he may not be any good, but this is his second coyote that he's caught in this snare. Or this snare hole. So we're going to pull him out of there, reset a snare. That sun is going down over there, and that's not good. We still got an hour and a half left and probably 20 minutes of daylight. So. This would bake number four we're taking. What is that, Jack? Number five for the day. Um, 64, 74 right there. And we got a pile of them right here. So duck under fence snare and then reset it. You can see it going down over there. Oh. <laughs> You like to see them caught, you just hate to see them looking like that. Look at this thing. This would be number six, Jack. Yep. We got five, six in the, this would be number six. This is the third fence snare in a row. So they had a predator or coyote calling contest out in this region. Uh, yesterday and the day before so all the ranchers asked me not to show up and check my traps and so anyways on this specific place they called in seven coyotes i talked to one of the ranchers they called in seven coyotes on this place and i've got four or five of them caught so uh, there's a good population out here he's still wrestling with it i'm going to get a snare put it back in that duck under hole Move on. Got a little more skinning to do. We're going to reset it. Looking good, Jack. Number seven for the day. No. I mean, yeah, that we, that we killed. We got a reset. We're getting snowed on and uh, it's getting dark. We're going to keep moving, hurrying. We're driving home. I realize it's super low light. Um, I just kind of want to do a quick recap. We ended up uh, taking six coyotes home or seven coyotes home. We caught 10 all together. We had two that chewed out of the snare and one that was toe caught and pulled out of the trap. So out of the 10 coyotes we caught today, we don't count the three that that we didn't kill. So we only count the three, or only count the coyotes we catch and take home. Um, we don't count the, the other ones that get away. We're probably about an hour from home from right here and uh, so we, we've almost put in a 12 hour day my other buddy of mine that's a trapper he said he only works half a day the first half of the day the first 12 hours on the trap line and then the second half he spends skin and coyotes so uh, that's kind of how we roll sometimes we don't spend the second half of the day Sometimes we just skin for three or four hours and call it a day. So uh, catching coyotes in large numbers, 
is a it's very possible it just takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of early morning late nights uh, a lot of mud snow ice yeah um, that's a typical day um, something like that like I said we started week seven and uh, we start out the morning 69 we got 76 now is that right Jack yep 76 now and uh, so we'll easily hit that 80 mark by the end of the week hopefully mid 80s and uh, on the way to on the way to a hunter how many do we have left to go to get a hunter 24 24 Jack's over here eating dinner and lunch all together but uh, it warmed up to about 30 mid 30s today and uh, I think that's about it we we had a heck of a day with struggles we struggled all day long get starting out getting the ranger stuck having to detour basically it was a 10 mile detour to go out and around to cross the river because we couldn't cross the river we had to go to a bridge and that ate up a lot of our time uh, we got probably 80 percent of our stuff checked today we we're hoping to get it all but uh, we have tomorrow morning so hope you guys enjoyed this video one day on our trap line, any given day, pretty much. So, thanks for watching.